Hello everyone. I am Dr. Bamangi Goswami. Today let us learn about stereo specificity and stereo selectivity. This topic comes under Gujarat University syllabus BSc Chemistry semester 5 paper number 301 unit number 1B. So let us begin. Now let us understand first what is stereo selective reaction. The reaction in which only one stereo isomer of product is formed preferentially although there is possibility of more than one stereo isomer is called stereo selective reaction let's say one example of 2 bromo octane here r2 bromo octane in presence of aqueous naoh it undergoes sn2 reaction mechanism and forms s2 octanol and r2 octanol while here r isomer of 2 bromo octane forms only s2 bromo octanol and not r octanol the type of product obtained depends upon which stereo isomer of reactant has been used so r isomer forms s product while here s isomer forms r product so that part introduce another term which is known as stereo specific reaction here the reaction in which any one stereo isomer of the reactant produces only one stereo isomer of the product and another stereo isomer of the same reactant produces another stereo isomer of the same product is known as stereo specific reaction so thus sn2 reactions is not only stereo selective but it is stereo specific as well so here in stereo selective reaction the quality of stereo selectivity is depending on the stereo chemistry of the product so here r forms out of this two forms only s2 octanol while s form out of this two only forms r2 octanol so here this reaction is stereo selective and stereo specific as well because in stereo specific reaction the quality of stereo specificity is depending on stereo chemistry of the reactant so that is why if we take r form that will give only s form of 2 octanol while if we take s form that will only give us r product now let us take an another example of cis 2 butene and trans 2 butene here cis 2 butene after bromination gives us pairs of enantiomers while trans 2 butene after bromination gives us meso compound here cis 2 butene after bromination gives only pairs of enantiomers and not meso compound that is why this reaction is stereo selective reaction while trans 2 butene gives us only meso compound and not pairs of enantiomers that it why it is also stereo selective reaction again this reactions are stereo specific as well because if we take cis 2 butene then only we can get pairs of enantiomer and if we take trans 2 butene then only we can get meso compound so this is the classic example for stereo selectivity as well as stereo specificity